welcome builders Andy is your here welcome to another tutorial on my channel this time it is a Mexican hacienda now these were buildings that large estate owners had maybe between the 1600s and 1800s you had to be a bit wealthy to have this much land and they really got popular after the colonization by the Spanish of the Americas so there are a lot of white blocks concrete calcite diorite even some white concrete powder so in here you have a nice big open living room with a storeroom through there maybe a kitchen up here is a very cool dark storeroom but it leads out onto a beautiful balcony over to an area where you could have some outdoor eating as well and then upstairs there is another upstairs up here we've got a nice balcony here with a little place with big windows plenty of light coming in maybe somewhere where you could have another storeroom as well i don't quite know why there are some redstone torches up there we shall just conveniently ignore them so how to build this well you're going to need an ingredients list and here is the list of everything that you need to build it i will put this list into the description as well it'll be a link to my patreon now you can download this on my patreon as a schematic as a lightmatic and you'll be able to get the for free without paying anything the the the, the materials list of course will be there um, but if you want lightmatics and schematics then you know consider joining my patreon i have got loads and loads of schematics coming out every week and you know, there's going to be something there for you. Let's build this up in a couple of stages. First of all, we're going to build just the walls. As you can see, this is a stripped out hacienda. And it's going to be just the walls. And any wooden details like that we'll put on a little bit later on. Now, if you do download the Lightmatic, this is what it looks like. And if I switch off shaders, it's actually a lot easier to see. There you go. It shows you exactly where to place every single block. And that is what you do. Now, what you will need is the dimensions of this. If you're not using the Lightmatic, you're going to need a picture that looks a bit like this. Let me get rid of that. And yeah, have a look at that picture right there. This is the dimensions that you need. Okay. And we're going to build this up wall by wall. I'm going to build this first wall here, which is um, 26 blocks long. And as you can see, we're using a real big mixture of materials. So we've got white concrete, white concrete powder. That's diorite. We've got even got bone block in there. As you can see, if I go slowly, you can see all the different materials. Smooth quartz is in there as well. That bone block needs to be upright bone block, white concrete, white concrete powder, diorite. You get the idea. Just make a nice big mixture. So whatever white blocks you've got, you need to make that just a huge big mixture. So following the diagram, which you can download, you want to do this here as well. So what have we done so far? We've come along 26 blocks just like the picture and one two three four blocks tall 26 along four blocks tall like that and that gets you to here then i've added on these five blocks on the outside okay and here we're going to add one more block on top like that and then here i've gone for andesite slabs and that sort of completes our entrance look. On top here, we've got a mixture of slabs. So some andesite, some diorite slabs. And there's our first wall. It's 26 blocks long. It is four blocks and a half tall. And then these little posts are five blocks and a half tall as well. So what we want to do is do another one of these walls. And this one is going to be... 26 blocks long as well all the way to this corner there 26 blocks again four blocks high and it's all going to be a big mixture of blocks I, I guess i better start down here because the white concrete powder tends to fall there 
There we go. So that should be 26 blocks long once I get to there. Come on, bone block. Stand upright. There we go. All sorts of different materials. What's this one here? We've got white concrete, diorite, calcite, whatever you can get your hands on. So same deal with these posts as well. If you've measured things out carefully, uh, it should look like that. Along the top, we've got andesite as well. And as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks to put along the top. And then it comes into five and then it goes to one. So the fifth block up is a nine, then a five, then a one. And that kind of centers that just like that. Leave a little gap there and add on more of your slabs and it takes you right up there like that. Now the gate itself, well we have, oh that's interesting, look at that, we have, yeah, iron trapdoors. I didn't realize that they were, hmm, didn't realize that they were like that. I don't, I don't know that that's going to actually work for us, is it? Because that is something maybe that's, which is done with world edit. I don't know if we could place some levers there and then the iron trapdoors like that and then just slam those levers down. That's not too bad. That is not too shabby. Okay, so here we're going to have simple smooth quartz stairs and then smooth quartz stairs upside down, upside down on top, the right way up and then some smooth quartz along the top and then it should be easy this time to put in some iron trapdoors. So if I take off the mod there, the Light Matica mod, you can see exactly what we've done so far. That is the entrance Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we'll switch that back on so we can see what to do. Now we want a, a line here, which I think is going to be 12 blocks long. Let me just check with my picture. So actually this next wall is 15 blocks long. So from there, all the way to there is actually 15 blocks. Oh, that bone block always wants to get placed upright. So 15 blocks, again, a big old mixture, whatever blocks you have got gathered together. Make a nice random pattern of these white blocks, whatever you find easiest to collect, actually, if you're doing this in survival. So there we go, nice uh, wall, which is 15 blocks long. And then this wall here, from kind of here to here, is going to be 10 blocks long but we're going to be leaving a couple of gaps for windows and we're going to go one two three four five tall so ten ten blocks let's go and repair that bone block a little bit later on leave a couple of gaps for windows in those positions two in from that side three in from that side little window little window and then on top we've got lots and lots of white concrete here so that is one, let's repair that one. One, two, three, four, five blocks. This little section here is two blocks wide. And then we want to form a doorway like that. And an upside down quartz stairs, just like that. There we go. As you can see, we've got a, a bit of a wooden floor in here, which takes us right to this kind of threshold here. So this is going to be simply... <laughs> this is fun. Lightmatica lets you place these blocks automatically. And I have to say, even in survival, it is a lot of fun. You, in survival, obviously, you need to have all the materials gathered. Okay, what could be the easiest job to do next? Maybe this wall here, I guess. I mean, it is a little bit complicated, this wall. But let's see what we can do. <laughs> so here we've got three blocks wide. And we're going to bring this up one, two, three, four, five, six tall. So that kind of worked out. Um, I guess here we need to place blocks as well, bringing us right up to there. So that's okay. Um, let's switch that off. Going to have to place a block underneath there just to hold everything up, I guess. Okay, we will need... Um, a block under there as well, won't we? So then we go one, two, three, three, four. That gets us up to that level. We will need to bring all these blocks across like that and then down there. 
and again another block under there just to support things as well so we should have these two three wide gaps and actually um we're going to go for some flooring with some smooth stone in here and then these are going to be upside down uh, quartz stairs like that we have a quite a big window here quite an unusual shaped window let's come around to this side i think all right um so we're going to count these out so one two three so here i've gone for smooth stone and then here we're back into our mixture one two three four five mixture of white blocks here we've got smooth stone slab and then here we're going to go a count of six i think one two three four five six up there like that we can bring these blocks all the way across here weirdly i've missed one block out there but um we can just place that in a normal white block i think it gets covered up later on okay so this window um has a little surround like that a little bit unusual that is one two three four five blocks there okay we're getting there a little three by five shape here one two three four sorry three by four that just fills it up again nice mixture of different white blocks there upside down upside down with the quartz uh, and the lantern goes just there shall we continue with this wall we'll get this this is probably the most complicated part of the build if we can get this out of the way we're doing pretty well um so we should be operating one two three four five six on the seventh block above the ground and we're going to go for a count let's see how many blocks it is so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one so twenty one blocks there should get you to where you've got a one gapper there and a little two gapper just there do you know i made this build a couple of years ago actually and never turned it into a tutorial and i'm not actually too sure why okay we're going up again but we're, we're missing a gap of two here and a gap of two here so that comes across like that and we'll just keep on going with this facade this side uh again we want a gap of two there and a gap of two there and we go all the way across so that's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen blocks we've got another 13 above it like that and then we're into a couple of windows so let's go round the windows with a four up the way four up the way and then across and then you can see the windows are inverted t-shape in the middle and then one block there and one block there it gets you that kind of weird shaped window i quite like it then another 13 blocks across there and four blocks here four blocks here again it's just your white mixture right this is where we've got to make this big spiky dome shape so we've got three blocks there three blocks there and smooth quartz slab okay so from from here from this two you should be one two three four five six seven eight blocks high before you get to slab land is that is that a word there we go smooth quartz there is facing in the way to make kind of that triangle shape and then we've got a couple of white blocks there with upside down stairs correct the way stairs there and it makes that really nice kind of round window shape towards the top of the build into the attic i guess and then we've got five across the way three and one five three and one and a couple of stairs on each side seals the deal there we go so that is probably the most complicated part of this build i would have thought right we've got a very simple wall here which is 12 blocks long one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and as you can see there's a couple of windows so the windows are three blocks in from the side three blocks in from the side and they are kind of centered around the two middle blocks so it's a two by two window like that so this whole section comes up 
<laughs> that that's not going to be able to be uh, concrete powder, is it? Right, this whole section is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks high. Okay, six blocks high. Shall we have a look at the back of this build? I think we probably will. This is a nice big section to take care of. What I might do... This is supposed to be 40 blocks long. This whole section is 40 blocks long. Let's, so let's, let's, let's make sure it is. One, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so that is the 40th block there. So um hmm. what details do we have we have some windows but apart from that windows we have this for some reason we have a little slab is that a slab there or is it two stairs hmm. is it two stairs it's two stairs facing each other so that crops up bit of a random thing i don't know why i did that i mean i did build this a few years ago <laughs> right so for this section we want to be one two three four five blocks no six blocks up in total and this is pretty much a big solid wall so shall we get it filled in um do you know what we should count out where the windows are to start with so from this side one two three four five and that is where the window starts okay so come round your window like that very i need to go from bottom up don't i there we go so yeah, one, two, three, four, five in, and you get your window. Uh, a gap of one, two, three, four, and we're ready for the next window. So you can go around that, like that. Um, let's do this in rows from the bottom. We need to go all the way to the end. What I'll do is just come up here, I think like that. Um, let me just change that to that block. And I do want that one in uh, as well. So let's keep on going. This is going to be 40 blocks long, six blocks high with the addition of those two little windows. Again, it's your white mixture. Whatever blocks you have found that are vaguely white, gather them together and slap them down. I don't know why I've done this. So this is one... So from this wall, it's one, from the very end, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in. You don't have to do it. I don't know why I did it. Don't ask me. Right, we've got another wall to go on top of this, but we're missing out one block. Again, nice big mixture like that. So that is our 40 long wall which right now is seven blocks high now, seven blocks high. Right, let's finish off this wall. Shouldn't be too difficult. We're coming in again by two, and then we're coming along one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Another 21 blocks in like that. Uh, again, we're missing out two. And we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Makes sense that it's 19. Add another one on top, like that. And then we're into this big shape. And there's no windows on this side. So once you're at the kind of this level, we want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 high. And in total, the length of it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's a 6 by 11. And that 6 by 11 starts on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th block. Boy, some of these numbers are getting confusing. So let's, let's just fill this in. So that's the 6 by 11 area. And then we've done this shape before, haven't we? We've done this shape before. So we miss out one block. Gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Gives us a 9, a 5, a 5, a 3, and a 1. 
And it's a question of just adding in a few stairs to finish things off. Do you know what? It's a lot of work, actually. This is just quite a big build, but this would look so cool in a desert or a badlands. It really, really would. I think it would be amazing. Right, so <laughs> we've got some awkward bits to do. So, hmm, let's have a wee think. So I had a little think about where to go next with this build, what to do. I think we're going to do a little bit of flooring, actually, which helps us build some of these walls. So let's come around to this little entrance here, and we need to put on um, some of these. So you can do any flooring you like. You could even have a wooden floor. I've gone for some reason with smooth, um, smooth stone. So you should get that little three wide bit and then one, two, three, four blocks there. Once you've done that, you can pretty much do the whole of the rest of this. So let's quickly get this done. As you can see, there's a few pillars going to be sticking up as well. How fun is Lightmatica? It just lets you instantly place blocks. Absolutely love it. Yeah, that's a lot of smooth stone. Do you know what? Uh, having played a lot of survival recently, I, th this is a quite an expensive block, isn't it? Because you need to... Don't you need to craft or smelt stone? And stone you need to get from cobblestone. So yeah, that's actually quite a tough... So maybe you don't want to use that. <laughs> I, I wanted it to be like cool tiled, like a cool tiled floor was my idea. Um, what should we do? Should we do this wall here i think we will so this wall continues on from here and let's see how tall it is so it's one two three four five six tall and it needs to be one two three four five six seven eight so eight long and six tall one two three four can i get in there <laughs> five is that six in total? One, two, three, four, five, six in total. And then just fill in the rest of that wall. A lot of white concrete here. I guess maybe there's quite a lot more white concrete in the middle of the build and the outside looks a bit more higgledy-piggledy with all the different um, textures. So once that wall is done, which one should we do next? I think probably these columns would help. So let's go... Where do we put the columns? So the columns should be right opposite this. Count in three and then one, two, three, four. Gap of three, one, two, three, four. And that brings us onto this wall here. So on top you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it looks like I've gone pretty much completely for white concrete on the inside of this build. You do want to mark out a little doorway here. And that's going to be one, two, three, four blocks high. And then another little doorway here, which is where the staircase is going to come up. So again, four blocks high and then just seal all that up like that. So in total, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks tall. Uh, we do have a window to put in here. So you should have one, two, three, four blocks from that side, gap of two for the window, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And it leaves you with three more blocks to put on, and you need to put uh, out this shape of window, okay? Little two by four window like that. Seal the rest up here. Ooh, a few more different blocks creeping into the build there as well. Always good. Okay, let's uh, turn around and have a look at this wall. So this big wall, which has got kind of a, a window onto the balcony, starts right in the middle of this gap here. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Gets you all the way over to there. Add on two more rows. Again, looks like I'm sticking to just white concrete mostly. There's some white concrete powder sneaking in. Uh, the doorway is one, two, three, four, five blocks tall, two in and three wide. So surround your doorway and don't forget some beautiful upside down quartz stairs. And the rest of this just gets filled in again with your mixture of whatever white blocks you like. And it should be up to that sort of height there. Let's have a look underneath. Hmm, what do we have? 
Are these just white concrete? Looks like it is just a white concrete um, base here. So one, two, three, four blocks long. So it is four blocks being added to this one makes it five in total, I guess. And we just bring that all the way across and that's your little balcony floor, just like that. So we've got a little gap there. Okay, so what have I done next? Looks like, hmm, we've got a couple of blocks there for a start and there, and then we've got this balcony wall. So, hmm, how can we do this? Let's maybe just count the front of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be pretty standard. We've got a block there, and the block there, and then one, two, three, four, and we just keep wrapping this round, really. Same up here. And I've chosen, again, some of these blocks, which are smooth stones, but maybe you could use polished granite, I think, or polished andesite. That would be actually probably a really good block. Polished granite would look like terracotta floor tiles. Oh, wish I'd thought of that. You can improve things by doing that better. Talking of terracotta, I add some just normal terracotta there and it makes that kind of nice shape from the outside. So next we're over here. Hmm, bit more complicated this bit, so let's take our time. First of all, we need four slabs to act as steps down. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten blocks tall. I'm actually going to switch off Lightmatica and just do this with white concrete. So 10 blocks tall right here. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. Okay, now when we switch it back on, you can really see that's an absolute key block to have. These are red because they're supposed to be, um, I think, white concrete powder. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Right, um, can we do this wall? It should be pretty straightforward. So counting up one, two, three, what you should get is a little spot where you can put in a little archway out of smooth, or just, yeah, smooth quartz stairs. And then we should have one, two, three, let me do it, one, two, three, four, five blocks like that, just to fill that whole section in. And that spills over to here, and it should be exactly the same height there. I guess you could do another little, another little archway there if you wanted at the bottom of the staircase if you so wished. That's probably something that I should have added. Um, what do we have next? So we should have a little bit of a threshold here, continuing round here. We should have one, two, three, four, like that. And that helps to define this doorway, which we can just go one, two, three, four, like that. A little two by two doorway. All right, great progress. Let's have a look at this section here. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks there. Looks like these are all, these are all bone blocks. How have I placed these? Maybe I've placed them like that. Bone blocks facing this way. The great thing about bone blocks with this build, if you do that and it kind of really experiment about which way they face, you get really good kind of textures. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall. And we just seal the deal here with some more white concrete, upside down quartzy stairs. And then here we've actually got upper smooth quartz slabs like that. Cool. A tough build. Hard work, isn't it? But very, very enjoyable and you get a wonderful build at the end. So gap of three here, and then we want to go for a column up the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you should get that kind of shape like that. Here we can make a little archway again. Looking good. Two blocks there, one block there for some reason. Oh, I kind of know why actually, because we're going to have another block there. I see, I see. Right, to here we want another kind of a lazy archway. So smooth quartz and smooth quartz slabs. That should be three blocks, the fourth block up like that. And then we come across there like that and like that. Again, a big mixture. We've got smooth quartz, we've got white concrete, whatever you want. 
um, a little lantern there goes a long way. Same on that side as this side. So it's two by three, stair, stair, lantern, and a block right there. Now we're on to kind of the, out, the outdoor eating area on top, and we've got a little kind of a storage barn underneath. Hmm. Where would be the best place to start? Probably with this wall here, because this wall here should be six blocks long. One, two, three, five, six. And it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks tall. So it's a six by seven area then. Again, a beautiful mixture or whatever you can get your hands on. Let's do these ones as well. Oh, it looks like here we can make a little threshold and then do upside down quartz stairs like that. That's what it looks like from the inside. Did we miss out a bit of floor here? I guess we kind of did miss out a bit of floor. What have I used here? This is, yeah, it's oak, oak slabs. Let's go back and just put these oak slabs in just there. That's upper oak slabs, as you can see, upper oak, oak slabs. Give you that little half block definition. Uh, here we've got a step down, actually. Um, so full blocks of stone, and then I've gone for um, lower stone slabs, and these come all the way along to here, like that. Lower stone slabs. That gives you that beautiful walkway. Again, you could use, um, definitely could use wood there. Oak would look fantastic right there. Hmm, what should we do next? I think we're gonna go around to the back wall here. So we need to add on these two blocks and these are gonna be how many tall? Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tall, which leaves us this back wall here, which um, should be, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 blocks long. And as you can see, we come up to here is a good target to get to first of all one two three four five six so it's a six by 17 so let's get that built really really quickly i'm going to ignore those bone blocks just now it's a six by 17 like so let me just repair them oh no it's all going wrong <laughs> um for some reason, I've gone for a little bit of diorite there for a tiny hole. Just the tiniest little variation in this build actually makes it a lot of fun. Right, we do need to count this wall along to our little kind of gazebo here. So how many blocks from here? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks there. We should have a gap of one, two, three, four, five to get to our gazebo. Now our gazebo, as you can see, is four blocks tall. I don't know why I'm calling it a gazebo. It's kind of like a sheltered area from the sun. Again, missing a gap of one. Well, probably we should build this wall first, right? That that would probably help. So how long is this wall here? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen blocks for that wall. And again, we want to come up to this height here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this wall continues. By the way, we miss out that block at the end. Oh, I really need to start at the bottom because of gravity. Wow, loads of concrete powder there. Doesn't matter what you use as long as it looks good. Um, so we're gonna have a little staircase here. So it's starting to go up like a staircase, miss a block, miss a block. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh one should get you to our little um, sunshade as well. Add on that there to complete the square. And then as you can see, we've got some simple quartz slabs to start to help to form the roof. Okay, we do need to form this little staircase wall right here. So this wall is actually 13 blocks long, not including this one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
you don't actually need to place those ones it should be how many blocks tall so one two three four five six seven to get us up to the height that we have been doing um right here hmm well, if i place that it's just going to fall down right here we're going to actually be having some wood which actually is going to support that so let me just do that temporarily and if i grab some of this i think we're going to have um stripped spruce log in here like that there we go Du -du -du. okay uh really really you just want to square this off like this keep on going leaving a gap of two at the end for a staircase you can see how the staircase kind of wraps around so we do need to do to a certain extent this little wall like that there we go pretty cool huh um what should we do what should we do i think we'll do this wall here but to do that wall there, I think it's easier to do this wall first. So we need a 17 block long wall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, it's a 17. And the height of it is four blocks and the half. So let's get that done. As you can see, a big mixture of blocks, even some stair blocks, which provide these cute little holes into your hacienda as if there's like a little hole in the wall and the site slabs or diorite slabs on top like that okay i think that's going to let us build this wall much easier uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's the main dimensions and then we're coming down by one each time so that's a nine and this is an eight and this should be one two three four five six seven again a few more slabs on top and we're ready to put in our staircase so the staircase i've simply made it out of smooth stone again wooden staircase would look pretty good so you've got a few options there so three steps there doesn't matter if you're not super accurate with this part as long as you've got a nice staircase up to this kind of veranda now here are more of these steps and they're bottom slabs not steps slabs they're bottom stone slabs you will notice there are a few holes in the floor <laughs> and we'll come on to them later on i will not specify exactly where these holes are just now but say to say i bet you're curious what they're for let me show you let's zoom over here dun, 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 dun. let's go back to the original they are of course for a bit of decoration because this is a slabbed floor you can actually put in composters which look really good i think building on slab floors are actually a lot of fun when it comes to furnishing and even some pistons there to make this little cute table and a little fire underneath as well so that is why we're doing those do, 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 little slabs okay let's get them finished off slabby 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 um okay Ooh, missing a block right there on the corner and we are good to go so that is the main walls complete well done you've got this far all right i've put in the rest of the details into the light matica mod to help us build all the roofs and so on and give more detail we want to count along to make this little barn here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on the 10th block we go down and we're going to add in these blocks here which are beautiful smooth stripped spruce log and we're going to have to have one two three four five of them five of them gap of two and then five more oi uh, gap of three one two three four five one two three four five hmm being annoying there we go gap of three at that last one so it's a gap of two gap of three gap of three and then we've got uh, a gap of three here and more of these oh this one is the middle and it's coming up quite far one two three four five six seven blocks tall same with this one do, 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 do you know what let me just switch that off seven and then here a gap of three two three four five six seven 
and I guess we've got this one here. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Let me just check that that is correct. It looks good to me. All right, so we need to put a roof on this. So the slab, as you can see, starts at the top of that one. And these are just simple spruce slabs, upper slabs. And you just keep on going slab by slab, up half a block each time, effectively, until you're right on top and right on the very, very, very middle top like that. And then just continue it down the other side. And that is your barn. Simple as that. I'm sure you can do a better barn than that. I've got a little kind of an animal pen here as well, which you might want to do. And I've used some campfires for the top of it, as you can see there. So that is up to you to do that. Um, for this window, we've got spruce and spruce. And then upside down. Oh, no, not upside down stairs, just slabs there. And then here we've got some trapdoors, spruce trapdoors here and here as well. And then these are upside down spruce stairs. So if I just switch things off, you can really see how that worked there. And yeah, those blocks indeed were simply more smooth stripped. <laughs> Let's go around. Let's go around. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have? So we have some nice details here, actually. So a block from the end and two blocks from that end. We've actually got these um, lower spruce slabs with andesite walls underneath. Just a little bit of decoration, really. Again, with some dark oak buttons. And again, I've missed some out. They kind of, it's kind of got a random feel to it. Uh, the gazebo type shelter here um, all the way around the outside above that last full block so it's above the last full block you want a ring of I guess lower spruce slabs and then just keep on going up in concentric squares like that and there we another concentric square there and again so you should have one, two, three, four levels like that. And it should look like that from the side. Oh, I think I've forgotten something over here. I did, yeah, we have put a pattern in here. Boop, 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 like that. Hmm, complicated little pattern. You could use some fences as well if you didn't want to go that complicated. Back up to here, we've got spruce fences and on top, we've actually gone for andesite slabs and a full block on top. And I think some, some, some of these, which are, what are these? Dark oak buttons. I don't hardly ever put buttons upside. Does anyone else do that? I hardly ever do that. But I think it looks really, really cool from down there. Beautiful bit of detail, actually. Love that. Okay, what should we pick off next? Probably we could do with slapping a roof on this build. So as you can see, at the top of this wall, the very top of this wall, we're simply um, not placing you. We're going for spruce slabs along the top of this wall like that. And these are going to stick out by two blocks, I think. Stick out by two blocks. Let's check that with the... Lightmatica, yeah, sticking out with two blocks. And then we're simply coming up again by a half block or just up by another slab like that. And you should keep on going until you get to the very middle, marked out by that single block there. So just come along like that. And that is half, whoa, that is half your roof done. I noticed there's some sneaky blocks on the inside, so we'll place them in a minute. You just keep on going. Do, 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 row by row. Now, what have we done here? Yeah, I just kept, just keep going, actually. Again, just by a slab down each time. Like that. Now, I did notice some sneakiness going on here. But one, two, three, four, five five of those spruces and one two three four five stripped spruce and then inside here this is the sneaky one 
two, three, like that. And I think maybe these ones have already been placed. So it's kind of a little indentation shape. And then across there, some uh, awesome little spruce trap doors like that. So I actually think all the difficult bits of this build are actually behind us now. This is The rest of this is actually really simple. On these corners, we're going to go for stripped spruce, three, four, five, six tall. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need to do um, a roof. So as you can see, let me just switch things off. We're going to have spruce slabs sticking out just like that all the way along just sticking out and then we just keep on going with this same procedure we've been doing with just half a slab half a block each time just up a slab like that and that roof really just builds itself doesn't it look at that so straightforward you just keep following along um ooh, one extra block there for good measure so those blocks are not the most pleasant to look at. Hmm. So you may want to do that. Up to you. I think I've deliberately kind of not done that, but that is something I would possibly avoid. Hmm. Up to you. Um, okay, so let's see where this block goes. It's going to be right there, isn't it? It's going to be right above that wall, just there. And that's going to come across. Ooh, oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 stop doing that. Going to go across there like that. So that is the start of that roof. And again, it's just, ooh, we're not slabbing it up this time. Look at that. So one more slab, and we're actually into stairs as well, spruce stairs. One, I told you it was a couple of years since I built this. I can't remember what I did. One, two, three, four. So four stairs in total. Four. Whoa. One, two, three, yeah, four stairs in total. And then you should reach the top, and the top is simply uh, a slab. We do have to get busy <laughs> with some campfires here. So it's five campfires, is it? I think. I think probably the easiest thing to do um, is to extinguish these at this point so we don't have too much smoke in our face like that the easiest way of building these would probably be to concentrate on the bottom so we've got ooh, granite walls gotta love the random granite wall in the build every now and again one two three on the uh on the spruce fences and then we've got gates here gates work so nicely underneath campfires i think and probably under there, you would also place, um, I'm going to do it actually, do, 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 do. Um, a little lantern like that. Cool. Um, what do we have around here? Oh, we do have a bit more roofage to do. So again, these blocks are simply lower spruce slabs. We've got two of them and then we're into stairs again. One, two, three, four. Takes us to the very top. So let's get it done nice and quickly. There we go. Woo right. Um, hmm. There's a tree to build. I let you put your own tree in. <laughs> There's various details, but, you know, like a fountain and a cart. But, you know, it's your build. You should own these little details and not be too prescriptive, I think. Uh, we definitely have, let me switch off Lightmatica, we definitely have spruce slabs coming along at that position, that position. I think they're overlapping by one. So let's see. Interesting how I've done kind of double slabs here all the way up to there. That is actually really interesting. Let's do that with without, well, we want to reach here we want to reach there that's our target to reach so let's do that without any interference from what we're looking at so it's um that goes there and this just quietly ticks up like that there we go and that is how that roof is done okay so you simply bring those lines all the way across um oops like that I think maybe they're full blocks doesn't matter if you use full blocks of spruce 
RU slabs. Same difference in the end. There's definitely a full block right there, I guess. And then this comes across like so. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, should we do windows at this stage? No, let's continue on roofage. So if you bring that across, it should end up being right at the top of this white bit of concrete here. And that just comes up in a little shape here with some cunning blocks at the top, actually. Very, very sneaky to use those stairs. So those stairs go all the way across. And then we've got slab and slab. So that's pretty straightforward. Stairs across, slab and slab, and then that slab should finish off. So that level there should be, yeah, full block above that one there, if you've done it correctly. What are these blocks? Oh, spruce planks, just to finish things off. It looks kind of flat and boring, but do you know what? I actually quite like that. I actually quite like it. Uh, right, on the inside, we do want to have some spruce on our windows. Sprucey, 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 sprucey. And there as well. Like that. Spruce, 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 spruce to fill in our little gaps. Looks like we have a bit of a floor to put in and, and, and a staircase as well. So that is something to do. My goodness, this build has a lot of different features on the outside we're going to go like this with spruce trapdoors and simply some spruce upper slabs like that and again go busy with the shutters something you would shut to keep out the hot midday sun your baking hot mexican desert area we do have some inside stairs to do, but I do want to just do this little bit here. Uh, lecterns, for some reason, I have used like that. You don't need to use lecterns. It does look quite cool if you do, if you can save up and make lecterns. It does actually look really, really cool. So these are dark oak buttons and spruce slabs just to fill in that little gap there. I will let you... Uh, experiment with the furniture. Um, I will show you this, I guess. That is a spruce stair dug into the half slab and then you turn it like that and it, it actually makes quite a cool little slab. And then there you would put your, um, you would put your table. That's just an extended piston and um, it's got a lever on the bottom like that. And then the piston shoots up and it helps to make your your table okay and then here um, I've simply used stone stairs to surround the the campfire okay and that is simply composter so don't want to be too prescriptive with the details I want to see your pictures I'd love you to join my discord discord.gg and uh, if you build this send me some pictures as well um here we've got a couple of windows to do as well oh can we place these blocks boom 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 oh it looks like i have got some pretty cool blocks going on here actually so these are um birch fence gate let's just switch things off to make you see it a bit better birch fence gate like that it looks like I've put on the inside, I've put another trapdoor. That's kind of, maybe that's supposed to be like that. Yeah, I think that's maybe supposed to be like that. So that's that window. Uh, this window is pretty much the same as we've been doing. One, two, one, two, like that. Um, spruce slab and some more shutters formed like that. So that's that window. I did say that we had a staircase on the inside to do, so let's switch on. So the staircase actually starts right there with um, ooh, spruce stairs, actually. I thought I used oak. Oh, it's spruce. Okay, spruce stairs. So one, two blocks in, and you've got your spruce stairs. Uh, any old block there, this is probably upside down spruce stairs. Turn again, and you should be at that level. Here I've just simply used um, a line of 
one, two, three, four, five spruces. And then we're onto a floor. So um, this looks like, yeah, it's an upper, it's an upper oak floor. So that needs to get put in everywhere. Do, 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 do. Um, and then we're on to another floor up the way. So counting in one, two, three, we've got three stairs and it should take you to this level where we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by three little spot like that. Um, ooh, we've got this coming up, haven't we? One, one, one. <laughs> What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, basically, it goes all the way to the ceiling. You don't even need to count that. It goes all the way to the ceiling. Um, okay, it gets us up to this kind of window level. So we do need to come up here. Um, a little run around there with some more spruce slabs and then the rest of this is just more flooring so the, the key to this is getting your flooring at the height just one dot below the window like that don't want to be too prescriptive about interiors it is kind of up to you you make the build your own don't you you, you would furnish it to your own satisfaction a uh, little uh, I don't know what would you call that balustrade there little banister stop you falling down as well I have put some of these on as well I'm not too sure why I've done those on the inside not too sure at all but there we go that is the stairs done we've got a big storeroom there we're out onto this balcony um, let's go over to the absolute very finished one as well we'll switch shaders back on because it looks so good in shaders there we go haha <laughs> BSL version 8.2.0 Oh, four shaders so for details on the outside I've used melons and buttons as cactuses plenty of barrels for atmosphere plenty of ferns and bushes I've added a little stables at the back very simple you could do that can't you um, mm -hmm. oh I have put some spruce fences in the windows that looks good a couple of bushes up here again on barrels or composters looks pretty good uh, a fountain I don't like this fountain design so you guys come up with your own fountain design you could make it out of quartz but I think it probably would look good out of stone and the site that kind of thing a couple of benches here to waste away those hot afternoons your own custom tree or just plant one plenty of hay Ooh, a gate okay there's my gate <laughs> Uh, yeah, this gate is five blocks wide. You might want to make it four blocks wide. Up to you, but um, put your own sort of gate on as well. And don't forget to stock up your barn. Plenty of hay, melons, pumpkins, that sort of thing. And that is the hacienda, I think, complete. I did add um, a door there with some trap doors on top. And I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much everything. That's a nice, big, long to tutorial but you do get absolutely fantastic looking little hacienda guys oh, i'm off for a rest that was hard work take care for now ciao ciao when the blocks be with you